The shocking truth behind BMW's 801 Coleman Dogeret engine isn't just a story about German engineering. It's a tale of desperation turned deadly innovation. This radial beast powered the Luftwaffe's most feared fighters, pioneering technology that was decades ahead of its time. Yet beneath its revolutionary automated engine management system lurked a fatal flaw that nearly grounded Germany's Air Force. What happened when brilliant engineering collided with wartime desperation? The answer changed aerial combat forever and revealed how the wrong decision at the right moment can turn a doomed design into history's most unlikely success story. The BMW 801 wasn't just an engine. It was 41.8 liters of controlled chaos wrapped in cooling fins. This 14-cylinder twin-row radial monster generated up to 2,000 horsepower in its later variants, breathing through a sophisticated two-speed supercharger that could adjust boost pressure automatically. But its true revolution lay hidden behind the crankcase, the Komendogorette, a mechanical computer that managed fuel mixture, propeller pitch, ignition timing, and supercharger settings with a single throttle lever. When this technological marvel was bolted to the nose of the Focke-Wulf FW190, it created the most feared radial power fighter of the war. The engine's distinctive cooling fan gave the aircraft its unmistakable bulldog profile, while inside, 1,560 kilograms of precision engineering turned fuel into fury. This wasn't just horsepower. It was German determination cast in aluminum and steel, a mechanical brain that could think faster than any pilot under fire. The numbers alone told a story of ambition. Each cylinder displaced nearly three liters. Compression ratios pushed 7.2 to 1, and the entire assembly spun at 2,700 RPM, speeds that would tear lesser engines apart. The Komendogorat itself contained over 100 precision machine components, all working in mechanical harmony to solve equations that would challenge a trained engineer. This single unit replaced what Allied pilots managed with six separate controls, 12 gauge readings, and constant mental calculations. BMW hadn't just built an engine. They'd created the first glimpse of aviation's automated future, wrapped in steel and driven by explosions. Love learning about the legends of the aviation world? Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on more videos like this. The BMW 801's birth was marked by catastrophe. Its predecessor, the BMW 139, had literally melted itself to death during testing, leaving engineers scrambling to salvage years of development. Racing against time as war clouds gathered, BMW's team made a desperate gamble. They'd create an entirely new engine using lessons from their failure and compress five years of development into 18 months. The early prototypes were disasters waiting to happen. Cylinder heads cracked under thermal stress, oil temperatures soared past safe limits. The revolutionary Coleman Dogeret system, meant to simplify pilot workload, initially caused more problems than it solved. Engines would surge unexpectedly, fuel mixtures would lean out without warning, and the complex mechanical linkages would jam at the worst possible moments. Test pilots nicknamed it Der Hitzkopf, the hothead, as engine after engine seized or caught fire during trials. Government officials grew nervous. The rival Umo 222, a liquid-cooled design showing incredible promise, seemed like the safer bet. But BMW's engineers, led by development chief Max Frizz, refused to surrender. They knew they were onto something revolutionary. If only they could keep it from destroying itself. The technical challenges seemed insurmountable. The radial configuration meant uneven cooling between cylinders, with rear row cylinders running dangerously hot. The massive cooling fan they added, a signature feature that would define the FW190's appearance, consumed nearly 70 horsepower just to spin. Engineers tried everything. Modified cylinder fin designs, rerouted oil galleries, exotic metallurgy for valve seats, each solution created new problems. The common Dolgorat's mechanical complexity meant that a failure in any one of its 100-plus components could cascade through the entire system. By 1940, BMW had destroyed over 40 prototype engines in testing, each failure teaching a costly lesson written in molten aluminum and shattered steel. Everything changed on a foggy morning in 1941 when Oberleutnant Otto Kittel pushed the throttle forward in his FW190 prototype. For the first time, the BMW 801 didn't just survive, it sang. The Komen Dogorat system, finally debugged through countless failures, managed the engine with a precision no human pilot could match. As Kittel dove through 20,000 feet, pulling maneuvers that would have killed earlier engines, the 801 adapted instantly automatically adjusting dozens of parameters to maintain perfect combustion. When the FW190 entered combat over France, Allied pilots couldn't believe what they were facing. Spitfire pilots, accustomed to technological superiority, found themselves outclimbed, outrolled, and outgunned by the Butcher Bird. 
The BMW 801 gave German pilots something unprecedented, the ability to fight with just one hand on the throttle. No constant mixture adjustments, no propeller pitch management, no supercharger controls to jiggle. Just pure, brutal simplicity. Push forward to attack, pull back to escape. British intelligence reports from 1942 called it disturbingly advanced. One captured RAF pilot described his first encounter. The bloody thing just kept coming. No matter how I maneuvered, the radio never missed a beat. It was like fighting a machine that couldn't make mistakes. The engine's combat performance shattered conventional wisdom about radial engines and fighter aircraft. Where Allied engineers believe radials were too draggy for high-performance fighters, the BMW 801's tight cowling and fan-assisted cooling created an installation nearly as clean as inline engines. The Kommandogorat's precision meant German pilots could extract maximum performance without the engine management mistakes that plagued Allied pilots in combat. During the fierce battles over the Channel in 1942, FW-190 pilots reported they could focus entirely on combat tactics while their opponents juggled engine controls. The psychological advantage was profound. Knowing your engine would automatically prevent detonation, optimize fuel flow, and manage temperatures meant one less way to die in combat. Statistical analysis showed the 801-equipped FW-190 achieved a 3-to-1 kill ratio against contemporary Spitfire Fives, a dominance that sent shockwaves through Allied command. If you're captivated by stories of engineering against impossible odds, hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. We're just getting to the heart of this mechanical mystery. But behind the BMW 801 success lay a scandal that nearly crippled the Luftwaffe. In late 1942, the competing Yumo 222 engine had achieved something remarkable. 2,500 horsepower from a package barely larger than the 801. With fuel consumption 30% lower and none of the chronic overheating issues, test pilots raved about its performance. Engineers declared it ready for mass production. Then came the decision that historians still debate. The Reich Air Ministry canceled the Yumo 222 program entirely, ordering all resources diverted to BMW 801 production. The official reason was product simplification, but many historians suspect deeper factors were at play. Industrial politics, existing production contracts, and the perceived risk of switching to an unproven design during wartime may have influenced the decision as much as engineering considerations. The consequences were devastating. While BMW struggled to squeeze incremental improvements from the 801, Allied engines leap ahead in power and efficiency. The Luftwaffe was forced to fight the final years of the war with an engine that, while revolutionary for 1941, was increasingly outclassed. Even more damning, internal BMW documents from 1943 admitted they knew the fundamental cooling problems could never be fully solved. They were building an engine they knew was flawed, while the superior alternative gathered dust and canceled blueprints. The numbers painted a grim picture of missed opportunity. The Yumo 222 had achieved its design goal with just 2,000 hours of development time. While the BMW 801 required over 8,000 hours and still suffered chronic issues. Junkers had solved the cooling problem with an innovative liquid cooling system that added minimal weight. Their 24-cylinder design provided smoother power delivery and lower vibration. Most critically, the Yumo 222's modular construction would have allowed field replacement of individual cylinder banks, a maintenance dream compared to the 801's all-or-nothing overhauls. Former Junkers engineer Wilhelm Benzer later testified that production tooling was 80% complete when the cancellation order arrived. The Luftwaffe's technical directorate had even allocated factory space and trained workers. All of it was scrapped. The workers reassigned to build more flawed BMW 801s in what Benzer called the triumph of politics over physics. The moment of truth came during Operation Bodenplatt, the Luftwaffe's desperate final offensive on January 1, 1945. As hundreds of BMW 801-powered fighters roared toward Allied airfields, their engines pushed beyond all limits, the Kommandogorat systems working frantically to keep them airborne. For one glorious hour, the engineering marvel showed what it could have been, FW-190s and DO-217s striking with devastating precision, their automated engines allowing pilots to focus entirely on combat. But physics has no loyalty. As the Raiders turned for home, the 801's chronic weakness revealed itself catastrophically. Dozens of engines, stressed beyond endurance, began failing. Cylinder heads cracked, oil systems hemorrhaged. The sophisticated common dog rat for all its brilliance couldn't compensate for fundamental design flaws pushed past their breaking point. One veteran pilot later recalled, We had the best engine management system in the world, controlling an engine that wanted to destroy itself. It was like putting a brilliant mind in a dying body. By day's end, mechanical failures had claimed almost as many aircraft as enemy fighters. 
The BMW 801 had given Germany tactical victory and strategic defeat in a single morning. Despite its flaws, the numbers tell a story of desperate success. Approximately 30,000 BMW 801s were built, more than any other German radial engine. It powered thousands of aircraft across multiple types, from fighters to bombers to reconnaissance planes. The Common Doggerat system pioneered concepts that wouldn't appear in Allied engines until the 1950s. It was the world's first practical engine control unit, a mechanical predecessor to the modern FADEC, full authority digital engine control systems. Today, when a restored FW 190's BMW 801 coughs to life at an air show, spectators witness more than historic machinery. They're seeing the physical embodiment of a terrible question. What happens when revolutionary innovation is shackled to flawed foundations? The distinctive roar, punctuated by the whine of that massive cooling fan, carries echoes of genius and compromise of what could have been if politics hadn't trumped engineering. The BMW 801's DNA lives on in unexpected places. Modern engine management computers trace their lineage directly to the common Dolgorat's pioneering automation. The concept of single lever power control, revolutionary in 1941, is now standard in everything from Cessnas to commercial jets. Even its failures taught valuable lessons. Boeing engineers studying the 801's cooling problems and captured examples helped design more efficient radial engine installations for the B-29 Superfortress. The BMW 801 teaches us a profound lesson about innovation under pressure. Sometimes the greatest advances come not from perfect solutions, but from brilliant workarounds to fundamental problems. It represents both the peak of mechanical ingenuity and a cautionary tale about the cost of compromise. This engine changed aviation not because it was the best possible design, but because it made the best of an impossible situation. In the end, the BMW 801 Kalman Dolgorat stands as a monument to human creativity in the face of an insurmountable challenge. It reminds us that true innovation often means finding genius in flawed foundations, that revolution can come from desperation, and that sometimes the most important technologies are born from the marriage of brilliant solutions to problems that should have never existed. The 801 didn't just power aircraft, it powered a paradigm shift in how we think about the relationship between pilot and machine. If this story of engineering triumph and tragedy captured your imagination, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We've got more incredible stories of aviation innovation waiting. Engines that change history, some through brilliance, others through sheer determination against the odds. What engine should we explore next? Drop your choice in the comments below and let's keep uncovering the mechanical marvels that shaped our skies.